Welcome back to World of Goo. I'm your host, Diogen Z, and last we left off in Little Miss Goo, Little Miss World of Goo, that is, we were getting uh, thrown up into a chopper and grinded down into little bits, and now we're going to try out Beauty and the Electric Tentacle. We've encountered a new type of goo yet again that uh, is a more beautiful goo. This thing, if you could call that beautiful. And it is the only thing that can get into red pipes. But that's not even a red pipe. So, ah, what is that? It says, be good, mom is watching. Okay. Is that thing mom? We must be getting close to the power source. But what is it? Coal? Nuclear? Wind? Dot dot dot. Goo. It's probably something more elegant. The sign painter. Sure. More elegant, you say. Well, let us build out this goo pathway. And similar to how we had to go over the uh, windmill, we have to do here. Except we have to cross this gigantic gap. So it's actually a lot easier when you uh, put it in, in retrospect. Because with the windmill, we had to worry about being chopped if we got too low. Oh no! Undo. There we go. Now we just have to worry about my own stupidity of throwing the goo balls into the pit myself. <laughs> Which is a lot easier to deal with, might I add. Okay, we have to also get this goo girl over. So while we build out this goo bridge, we should also be placing balloons behind her. This way she can climb up over the pole. And oh, I didn't see that sign before. Oh no, we did see this sign. Never mind. I'm seeing things is what I'm seeing. There's plenty of balloons to go around. Notice how she flattens out the entire bridge. So be careful when you're transporting her gooey face. Okay. Okay, good, good. We're already getting to the edge over there. I think I'm going to add one more goo ball. Now let's start to move her face down and see if we can't end this mission well. Okay. Almost there. Uh-oh. We don't have enough. Phew. Let's see. If we can get her to roll down. Okay. I think we can let her roll soon. Just want to make sure she is well over the canyon. Go on. Roll with ya. Be crushed. Into the... Uh-oh. Phew. That's all they had to do. Was wake them up. And now, we can throw these little guys off. Come on, anybody else? Any other goo? No, nope, you're not. Yeah, we'll throw the balloons down there, sure. Why not? It's fun for every goo. Except the goo that fell in the hole and died a tragic death. Okay, so wow, we've got a, a good amount of goo here. Made it! Who gets swallowed up? Oh, every type of goo. What do you know? I was like, what pipe is this specific to? Well, that's great. Since it was a one strand, it didn't even make 
a triangle. And now that's all we can do. And take this out of here, though. Mwahahaha! Companion cube escapes, or not so much. Okay, we'll continue on. Again, this ambient soundtrack, I really recommend putting on your Android or iPod or musical device, whatever you may have. It is magnificent. Very eerie, and it is very fitting for the ambient goo traveling levels that we do. The Whistler. Learn how. Oh, we should have went to this one first. It would have told me everything about the whistle. Whoa. This is just a giant whistle. It wasn't referring to my little dinky whistle I can do with the left click. They seem to follow the whistle. One day, if they ever put together a companion DVD of their adventures, one of the goo balls will probably say, We've got the moves, and you got the grooves. The classically trained sign painter. So, what we have to do is... Just shrink, or not shrink, but we have to tilt to wake the sleeping goo. This way they can build us a path to the pipe. Because these are the drooling goo balls. No! I, I want to retry that. Because I know what to do. I just thought that was BS that that goo ball dropped into the water when he didn't have to. Come on, goose. Get up. Okay, good. Now that they're all here, let's lead them back to the other side of the whistle. Other side of the whistle where the goo can all drop. And let's see if we can't fall into the pipe. No, we need three. Okay. You want three, you got three. Into the pipe, everyone. Into the pipe, into the pipe, into the pipe. Da -da -da. Whistles! Is that all he is? Hurry up. That would do, world of goo. That'll do. Fill up my goo vat, how much I got. I got 26. Yeah. I love seeing that number rack up. I don't think I'm going to visit the world of Goo Corporation unless anything changes. Unless we have to. The red carpet. Because I want to see that number rise to over 9,000 goo balls. Oh my goodness. The red carpet. We're famous in Goo World. I mean, World of Goo. Smile for the cameras. Everyone is looking so fabulous tonight. Does she even know where that pipe goes? Let's not tell her. The sign painter. Where? This pipe. Oh, wow. This is quite the contraption. Huh. Interesting. These red carpet extendomatic are controlled by these guys. So there needs to be a greater push down on here. First, let's build up our structure on the green section. All we really need to do is get a triangle up there so that when Little Miss Goo comes crushing out in little molecule pieces. She can support herself on the triangle of goo. Oh no, what happened? We do that. We do that. Okay, I must have taken a goo when I didn't want to. We can do it, goo guys! Everybody is taking our picture and watching... Oh no. Undo that. Undo that. Okay. 
get ready to take these guys. Hey, you, over here. Don't mess up my grab. Okay. They're all set now. And we even have a net to catch any goo pieces that don't get caught by that. But I think it will handle itself. Just in case, make it a little wider net. Since we can. Why let any pieces of Little Miss Goo go if we don't have to? Now let's build up. I think we just have to make a sturdy structure. The more that we push this down... There we go. Now it's starting to creak. I think it's starting to feel the strain of all the goo on itself. Good. This goo will get the extendomatic of the red carpet going. And then we will be glorious victorious. Ah, oh, the mutiny of the goo. Can these guys get in? They can't. Oh my goodness. She needs to actually go across this. That's right. Go, little Miss Goo. Go to where you know you need to. Oh no. We need suspension. We need scaffolding. Okay. Uplift her into... Ah, perfect. Now she's on her way. She's completed her red carpet journey. And into the pipe she goes. Oh wow, you see all the pieces going through the pipe. That's cool. Huh. We did it, guys. We walked the red carpet. Pretty interesting goo to play with. Specific ones that can only go in that pipe. Ah, plus eight. Not bad. Looks like we've come to the height of this Little Miss Goo Mountain. Genetic sorting machine. Sounds scientific. Some balls are prettier than other balls. It's just the way it is. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, are these the prettier ones? I don't know. Interesting. We need to sort these out. And be able to carry them all over to the sleeping goo guys over here. Alright, let's see what we can do with the goo. The last of the goo balls didn't seem to notice they were in some sort of gigantic beauty pageant machine. Pretty ones over there, ugly ones over there, over here. Personally, I think everyone is beautiful. Mostly me. The devastating sign painter. <laughs> so, we have to build these girls up into the proper place they go. Too bad if you don't believe in segregation, that's the way of this level, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, it's just the way the puzzle is solved. Get up in there. Alright. Now she breaks into a bunch of goo. Oh no! Oh, that was not what I wanted. Wait a sec. Does she cushion this? Does she cushion the fall now? There must be some way to cross this pit. Maybe you will fill it with the shattered pieces of those less fortunate than you. The sign painter. <laughs> Wait, are we supposed to be getting the red goo up and only the ugly ones are supposed to go in the... I guess that's really what has to happen. Because that's what they're hinting towards those less fortunate than me would be the ugly ones so we have to use their decapitated corpses to propel little miss goo throughout this whole level i hope you're proud of yourself little miss goo i hope you didn't want a world of goo peace because this is no way to get it by using the maybe not as good looking goo for your bidding to go across spikes. 
Seriously, why do you have to go across spikes? What is so important that's up there? I don't know, but the goo know. And maybe you know. But unfortunately, this goo has to go. Ooh, that's not all the death you're going to be having, goo ball. Fill the pit with the corpse of your enemy. She's not even your enemy, though, little Miss Goo. She's just ugly. Why? Why must you do these things? All right, well, she's on her way. And now it's your turn. Now you have to get over to your pretty goo po post. Here, let me carry you up there. Fat piece of shit. Anyway. Uh, yes, but we do have to travel with this goo ball. Do not throw her into the pit without the remains of the ugly goo balls thrown down there first. Otherwise, she will be skewered. Oh, wow. All those guys get to go up, too. Oh, why are we bouncing? Oh, okay. Those guys. Cool. Let's put all the green ones up here. Since we know they are beautiful, too. That's why they fit in the beauty beacon. Come on, guys. Everyone, continue on. I don't know if I really need them, but I'm guessing I do. Since they are my main building blocks and I have to wake up some sleeping goo over yonder. Alright, so now we've got ourselves a pretty good structure of goo that needs to break. So she can continue on with her journey. Come on, green goo. Let's go. I know I need you as building blocks, but you're just blocking my way. Well, what's this say? I guess we don't even need the green. It's almost winter, and there is electricity in the air. It's unclear whether it's anxiety or... Because the power source is very near. The tingling sign painter. Where is she going? Do we need the green blocks? Or the green... I don't know why I keep saying blocks. Do we need the green goo? Probably not. She's beautiful. I mean, I'm glad this isn't high def or anything. She looks fantastic for something hundreds of years old. But who is she? See you on the other side. The sign painter. Yes, who is this gorgeous goo? I said, I guess you could say that. Uh, I do not know. What I do know, though, is we are very close to the end. So let's throw the rest of the green goo that we can. There we go. This way they can all be traveling with us into the great beyond. Sorry, ugly pieces of goo ball. You can't come along. But you can. Are you can? You can. Oh, why? Why did I hear smashing of goo? Okay, let's get these. Another one, please. And now we can start to have all the goo pieces come on. I can't believe this one balloon is still sleeping. Freaking balloon. I hope we don't need it. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. We do need it. There's no way about it. We need that other balloon. Alright, don't crush us, Little Miss Goo. I need that balloon. I can't believe that one balloon is what's stopping us. Oh no! Uh oh. We're so close. Just let us get... At last, balloon, little Miss Goo. Thank you. Finally. Now we can break up 
this larger structure, and I'm sure we'll fly away. Hey. Beautiful goo, get up there. Oh, what is this? Um, huh. It seems to be something that is like a chain. Oh, no. Wait, I got an idea. What if we just propelled one triangle then we might be able to do something or not oh we're rising we've gotten it we have completed little miss world of goo The last of the goo balls discovered. The giant lady thing was a living electric generator. And that beauty was a highly reactive liquid chemical. Like gasoline or turpentine. For years her beauty juice powered the entire world. But as the world grew older, so did she. And when her beauty dried up, so did her electrical output. UNTIL TONIGHT! With fabulous new cosmetic surgery options, and raw beauty product injected directly into her forehead! The signs of age melted away, even though she couldn't move her face because of all the chemicals. The beauty generator was back! A truly sustainable energy solution. All around the world, lights glowed brighter. Power meters spun faster. Electrical lines surged with youthful energy. A factory opens in the south. Excellent guys, we reached the end of chapter two. And next time, we will move on to chapter three, Cog in the Machine. See you then.